Jones. Julio! He Julio! probably didn't know that he was live on air with Shannon Sharp and said, I'm out. I don't want to fucking be here anymore. This place sucks. Matt Ryan's probably not good. He said that in his mind, but I'm just inferring. Um, <laughs> oh, shit. Julio Jones is maybe the biggest name to hit the trade block maybe one of the best receivers to hit the trade block since Odell Beckham, who was not on the trade block, but everybody fucking knew he was on the trade block. Um, Who would you like to see Julio Jones play the position of wide receiver for next year in the NFL? Mike Spillane, I'm going to start with you. 100% Seattle Seahawks. That's where I think he would be the most fun because get, then you give Russell Wilson, you give him Julio Jones, DK Metcalf and Tyler Johnson, a decent running back. Tyler Lockett. Is, well, Tyler Lockett. Sorry, sorry. Tyler Lockett. My, my apologies. Um, and a decent running back in in Carson. I believe he's still under contract. Mm-hmm. As long as you don't have Pete Carroll fucking up play calls, that is a great team offensively. Um, so I, I think that would be the most fun experience for me. And they were supposedly rumored to be one of the biggest teams interested in him in possibly even giving up a first round pick for him. But I looked at the betting odds, uh, which I sent to you guys earlier on Twitter. Um, Seahawks aren't even on the list anymore. So apparently they might be out of the race and that's news to me. So Craig, who do you think would be a best fit for Julio? Oh, well, wait a minute. Best fit or the, but for me, I got to give you that. I hope he just accidentally comes to me. I'm yeah. You know, and he just kinda, it, no, 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 it's not. It's absolutely not. What I think is crazy fun because I think D Hop tweeted it uh, is D Hop wouldn't mind having Julio on the other side. And holy crap, I think that's even more fun. Than, yeah, I think I, I hear you about Seattle, but if we're like dream scenario to create hype. And there's already a little bit of hype around Arizona. J.J. Watt came in. That's a different side of the ball, but there's some energy over there. Holy shit, that would be a run. That'd but be what like, do you do with good, the corpse of A.J. Go. Green? You don't need him. You don't need – yeah, I was like, you just <laughs> – but, but he's there. Yeah, I didn't even, just go I didn't ahead and know that. He's not in the – They when did that happen? He's on Arizona, yeah. He, they signed yeah, him. We literally talked there. about it the last time we recorded, Craig. Well, you know what? That was a go. It was. It was a go. Um, no, but it, it'd be insane to see the Patriots uh, are the favorite right now. They are the they, they are that's, the betting favorite currently. That's stupid. I don't like any of that. And that's what's going to happen. I hate it. It's so, really difficult to look at him getting underthrown balls from Cam Newton. So. My, <laughs> my thought process is I, I agree with Mike. I think Seattle would be really fun. And the only reason I think it would be more fun than, uh, than Arizona is because when DK ran the entire length of the field to stop Buda Baker, uh, yes. you get that same kind of player in Julio. And that's going to make DK Metcalf a dominant force to learn from Julio Jones in this league for many, many, many years. And I, I think that's just better for the game. Um, yeah. D hop would be super fun. Kyler would be super fun. Please Atlanta do not send him to new England, please. Don't do it. Please. It would not be fun. It would not be a good time. He no. apparently Julio said that he wants to go to a contender. And he wants to go and he wants to go to where uh a quarterback is that that has a big arm because he wants he wants touches. He wants to run for the ball. He wants to do all that stuff. And I just don't is Cam Newton that guy? Can Cam Newton be that guy still? I think we're all in no. agreement that his shoulder I really, will not. really enjoy digs on Cam Newton. Any of any digs on Cam Newton are hysterical. Well, so last year he he had come out recently in an interview and said that he was only feeling about sixty percent because he had gotten COVID uh, during the season. So when he came back, he wasn't feeling like himself. That's not that has nothing to do with what's going on right here. He's got he's got chicken wing itis. He can't get it up and over. He's not. It's the movement's not right. Been there before, where you can't get it up and over. Huh? It's the worst. Mine doesn't even go over. <laughs> <laughs> what are we looking at as a perspective cost for Julio? What would you, Craig, if if Miami was pitching to him hard, and he said, "Okay, what are you willing to give up for Julio Jones?" 
definitely elite a firsty. You would give up a first round pick for Julio? Oh, yeah, because we have we have extra. That's true. You have I would capital. Definitely, yeah, I would definitely get. Oh my god, yeah. I think that it's this isn't like a quarterback three first situation, but I think a first and maybe even a little sweetie to make sure that people are like, okay, I'm getting value here. Hell yeah, because the veteran leadership, to your point about what he could do with DK, let him sprinkle that on my guys. Let him sprinkle that all over. Jim Devontae Waddle is also Devonta very... Parker. Like, if that were possible, I don't think it is. No, I don't either. But if, you know, he could sprinkle that love anywhere. Yeah, like there was a couple of things that I saw posted of like potential trade packages that could land it. And there was like one that was proposed, and I think it was Tennessee. Basically, if Tennessee offered just a first round pick next year, that would be enough to potentially get the deal done for Tennessee. Whereas other oh, wow. teams were offering up like a second and third next year or uh, a second and a fourth and a fifth. Tennessee's like interesting that. too. Tanny could get it there. Tennessee could, could be an interesting prospect. Obviously, we know that they have playoff potential, but do they have like actually getting all the way there potential? That well, what if he? What if offensively they just needed that to bookend Brown? Derrick Henry's of the 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 just the tippy top the of truth, what you, yeah. of what you want at that position. Their D's not even bad, and their coach has a no. defensive mind. Holy crap! I didn't. Where are they on that? The betting list uh, on the betting list, they. I think are... they're in like middle, middle. Okay. Of the okay. Pack. Plus eight hundred. Plus eight hundred. Yeah, right they're now. in the middle. Oh, that's not bad though. I had lo- are oh, the favorite be... at plus four hundred. So. so I want to pivot from that because I think we, I think if you're really making a push and you want this guy, you have to offer. I think what Craig said, a first and possibly a sweetener, a fourth, a fifth. If you really, really want him, you do a first and a third. Maybe you stagger those years. Maybe you do first next year, third the following year, something like that. Um, But with everything going on right now in Green Bay, does Green Bay need to get Julio Jones for Aaron Rodgers? Does that get Aaron back to camp? Craig, I want to start with you (laughs) because you threw your head back and I know you have feelings. Don't jump into the Aaron saga quite yet, but but does Julio Jones get Aaron Rodgers to come back to Green Bay? No, I don't think, I don't even think that would. And, and e- as exciting as that would be, and that'd be the smartest thing that I guess Green Bay could do because they're going to lose Devonte Adams too, the way things are going. So I, I, I'll keep it at that. I do not think that even gets him back unless it also comes with a very large sum of money. That's apology money. That's like, we're sorry. We dis respected you mike you said no very quickly you don't think julio gets aaron back into green bay why he's outright basically come out and say he does not want to go back to green bay the talks don't seem like they're progressing obviously and the statement the report that came out from the athletic today i'm not going to go too much into it because i'm sure you're going to talk about it in a little bit but it doesn't sound good when your president puts out a quote and I screenshot it. So that way I could have this available for me today. When your president puts, we screenshotted the same quote. Yeah. Where he puts out a quote and says, as I wrote here last month, we remain committed to resolving things with Aaron and want him to be our quarterback in 2021 and beyond. We are working to resolve the situation and realize that the less both sides say publicly, the better. When you put that last line in there, the bet, the least we say publicly, the better. That means it's not fucking positive. So I, they're probably talking to him, be like, "What do you think about Julio?" And he's probably like, "I like California." <laughs> right. We're speaking about two different things over here. You're you're talking about football. Have you met my who's soon to be wife? She does movie pictures and they give her prizes. And he's like, but we have cheese. And he's like, Jeopardy's cool. Like, <laughs> and I could just wait you out and go play somewhere else. <laughs> so, so, yeah, my thoughts. We're, there we, go. we are hard. No, Julio Jones does not bring Aaron Rodgers I, back to the Green Bay Packers. It might move the needle a little bit, but it's not going to. Do we see? Okay. So Green Bay has all recently said that they will not be trading Aaron, which I necessarily, I don't necessarily believe because they're in a very tough spot. However, (laughs) however, however, it's an understatement. They're in a a tough spot. We're going to get into that in a minute. 
I the think whole thing's the, over. <laughs> the most probable cause of Aaron Rodgers playing a season for the Green Bay Packers is this. He comes back this season, plays one season. His guaranteed money is gone after this season. He will not. And I think he has an opt out too. I, he will not be back with this team next season, no matter what, because he's got no guaranteed money and they're going to cut him because right. why would you? Yeah. What? Like, no. So he could come back for a season. If Julio Jones is there, you have Devonta, Julio, Aaron Jones, and that big Bob Tunyon, who I know nothing about, but that one guy was very adamant that he is a, he is a tight end to care about. He's, he's trash. Tanya's trash. You tell him I said that. Craig's taking a hard take. He sees hard. It's, it's a hard line. He's garbage. But Tanya ruined garbage. your fantasy season. I, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. I think that that would possibly, maybe, potentially, but short of Brian Gunt, 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 Gunt Kirst or whatever being, it is. Yeah, Gunt, uh, something like that. Bad last name. Short of him and having his head on a pike outside of Lambeau Field, I don't know if you see Aaron Rodgers in green and gold ever again.